Uh, sir JV, nakikita na ba yung screen, sir? Yung yes, ma'am ma po. Visible na po yung screen sharing mo, ma'am. Ayan. So, right now po, we are as well uh, live via FB po. Welcome, welcome po sa ating mga streamers, sa mga watchers po online, and of course po sa lahat po ng nandito sa ating Zoom room. Ayan. So, good morning po from University of Baguio, Sir John Miliare. Good morning po. Okay, so to start with, with our training, uh, let's put ourselves in the presence of the Lord and uh, let's start it for with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity to meet together. Please help us to come together to make this institution reflect your kingdom. Breathe life into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, come give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within, wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts, discussions, and ideas, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. And yeah, so once again, po, good morning, good morning po, to all the participants who have joined our training today. So this is our training uh, regarding journal system and digital repository for librarians. Ayan. So we thank you po for giving us your time today. And right now to give us a message to welcome us with our training and give us a message of encouragement. So let us welcome uh, one of the focal persons of the ICT Literacy and Competency Development Bureau of the DICT Luzon Cluster 1, the same time Provincial Officer of Pangasinan. So let's welcome Ma'am Mary Jane B. Nerona. Morning po. Yes, good morning. Narinig ako. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good morning everyone. So, um... On behalf of our regional director, Nestor S. Pongato, I would like to welcome you all to this training, um, Journal System and uh, Digital Repo Repository. So, <clears throat> we are in the digital era or yung tinatawag na fourth industrial revolution era. So, <clears throat> Uh, and dynamic technology, so we should uh, use technology in, lalo na sa inyo, in managing books, magazines, ano ba yung nandun sa library nyo? Newspapers, journals, films, at iba pa. Maalala ko nung college ako, uh, ang library namin is isang building siya, six, six floor siya actually, and then yung department namin is andun sa sixth floor. So siguro dahil dominated ng lalaki yung course ko, sabi nila kaya nilang umakyat hanggang sa sixth floor. So imagine, ganon kadami yung books and uh, other documents na minamanage ninyo. And then uh, manual siya, syempre nung 1990s, uh, wala pa yata ang information systems na ginagamit. So now that we are in the digital era, 
So marami nang lumalabas, marami nang nadidevelop, marami tayong magkagaling na developer. So I do hope that this training uh, would help you. Yung iba may systems na siguro. So this is uh, uh, an additional knowledge for everyone na mas makatulong pa para magawa nyo ng husto yung, yung work nyo uh, as librarians, kung lahat po tayo librarians. So we have uh, competent RPs na, 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 na nakilala namin to, uh, to share their knowledge. Yan. So habang nandito kayo, uh, magtanong na kayo. So this is a whole day, uh, whole day activity. So sila, sila, i-share nila lahat ng, uh, ng natutunan nila and yung, yung, yung expertise nila. So again, good morning and uh, keep safe po. Maraming salamat. Yeah, so thank you po, Ma'am Jane, uh, for that message. Yeah, so indeed po, we are in the digital revolution. So uh, we are hoping po as well and we are expecting uh, more knowledge po will be gained po today during our training. And our RPs are helping you po uh, with your queries and, of course, po, sharing din po sa inyong mga um, knowledge po na makakalap ngayon. Okay, so I uh, would like as well po to acknowledge yung ating mga focals, focal persons po ng ILCBB. Uh, good morning po, Engineer Magdalena D. Gomez. So right now po, nandito siya. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning po. And also, uh, Sir Mike, Michael Rabara, one of the vocals as well. And uh, we'd like as well to acknowledge on behalf of our regional director, Nestor S. Bongato, and the chief of the technical operations division, uh, Dr. Alan Arla. So we are extending for warm greetings to all the participants of this training. So... Uh, at this time po, may ask everyone to please open po their cameras so we could have po a photo opportunity. And po, so we have two pages. Hold your smiles, everyone. Okay, so we'll wait po for others to open po. And so, page one po tayo. Hold your smiles, everyone. One, two, three. Sa pa po. One, two, three. Okay, so page two. Ayan, hold your smiles. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Ayan. So, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, just to give you po as well as some... Um, Announcement and reminders for in today's training. So we have few house rules here. First of all is um, may we ask everyone po to please mute po your mic while the resource persons are discussing. So no worries for later. Uh, we'll be having a Q&A po. And you can ask question after the discussion or we can utilize po yung ating chat box. If you have queries po, uh, you can just chat po. And of course po, no cursing or derogatory comment. Let's keep this room po friendly. And uh, of course po, uh, we ask everyone to stay until the end of the training. If possible, you can turn on po your video. Ayan. And regarding po in um, getting an e-certificate, a certificate of completion will be given to participants who have completed all training sessions. And so we will be strictly monitoring po yung inyong attendance, yung inyong pong participation during the training. So please stay po. And link for the attendance form will be given at the end of every after training session. So right now, po, we'll be having uh, morning attendance and the afternoon attendance. So we'll be giving it po later um, sa ating chat box. 
Okay. Ayan, so without further ado, uh, let me call on yung ating partner, Sir JV, to introduce to us yung ating mga resource person. So take it away, Sir JV. Okay, Ma'am Rika. So ayan, good morning po everyone. Good morning to the uh, focal force persons ng ating uh, the ICT LC1 ILCDB for making this training uh, come to life. And then thank you and good morning then sa ating mga resource person, si Sir Lauren P. Kipaan and si Sir, uh, Sir Carl Brian Sibayan. So let me introduce to you our first speaker, Sir Lauren Kipaan. So <clears throat> Mr. Kipaan has 16 years of experience in the library world. Lord, uh, Mr. Kipaan is now serving his 15th year as employee of Binget State University. Sir Lauren served as section head for almost 11 years and more than four years as library director. Sir Lawrence is a digital library enthusiast, training organizer, library consultant, a BSU library social media administrator, a library, uh, librarian license review lecturer, and library science instructor. He attended the managerial international workshop on information literacy in Belgium, and which he is one of the few selected seven to join the workshop on December 8 to 20, 2014. He became an international paper presenter during the fifth Rizal International Conference at Ateneo de Manila University in 2012. He is very active in numerous librarians association organization organizing trainings and seminars for which he is basically manages all the operation of seminars of forums in 2013 to 14 and 2017 to 18 he became a national board of trustees and president of Philippine Librarians Association Cordillera chapter for two years for which he overseeing the whole regional organization he became also the press relation officer of agricultural Lib librarians association of the Philippines for two years in 2003, uh, he created and overlooked the two student organizations. He is the founder and advisor for, of Library and Information Science Association for three years in which he overlooked and managed the whole operations until the organization become stable. He also created the Library Club, a university-based student organization in 2010 and became an advisor for thir three years. In this way, he has accumulated knowledge and skills in the following library exposures. And one year as library consultant, three years as regional president of the Philippines, of Philippine Librarians Association, four years as library director and counting, 11 years as section head, one year as interim provincial librarian, one year as supervising teacher librarian, two years as trustee and region president of Philippine Librarians Association from 2017 and 2018, three years as library club advisor, three years as CTE Library Science Association advisor, 30, and 13 years as board of directors, Baguio Benguet. Librarians Association Incorporated. And lastly, he finished his master's degree in library and information technology at St. Louis University in Baguio and uh, graduated at Benguet State University at La Trinidad Benguet, uh, Bachelor of Science, a Bachelor of Secondary Education in Library Science. So again, please welcome. Mr. Lawrence P. Kipaan. And to introduce the second speaker, Mr. Carl Brian Sibayan. He has served in the University Library and Information Services College Librarian 2 
and Technology Services Coordinator responsible for the web page and library database monitoring, backup file management, and designated as, designated as Data Privacy Impact Assessor, Records Management, Improvement Committee Secretariat, Quality Management System Member, and Internal Quality Auditor. So, without further ado, let us welcome our second resource person for today, Sir Carl Bryan Sibayan. So, back to you, Mamrika. Yeah, so thank you for uh, Sir GD. Um, we have seen po and heard po kung ano po yung uh, kung sino po yung ating mga trainers today and we believe that they are very reliable po and very knowledgeable sa ating magiging training ngayon. So just to check sa ating mga participants no Sir JB. So we'll be moving forward po sa ating training proper. Chat one sa ating chat box. Uh, just to see we're all set po to move forward. Okay, chat one po sa ating chat box. Ayan. And also po yung ating mga nasa Facebook Live. Uh, we have posted po yung ating link. Ayan, we still have enough room po to admit you sa ating Zoom room so you can join po sa ating Zoom. Ayan, so we posted po sa ating Facebook comment. And so thank you for all your response. So we are ready na po to move forward. So let's call on po our first trainer. And so Sir Lauren, are you the one po who will discuss first po? Mama, try po po. Hello, ma'am. Hi, yes, sir. Uh, go ahead, po, sir. Take it away, po. <laughs> yeah. First and foremost, uh, thank you for inviting us. Uh, hindi namin expect na invite nyo kami. <clears throat> Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, po, sir. Uh, loud and clear, po. So, again, uh, good morning and thank you, uh, the ICT uh, Luzon Cluster, for inviting us. Uh, si Ma'am Merjin, Ma'am si Ma Maggie, si Ma'am Rika, and Jan for facilitating this uh, training. Although, hindi ko masasabing training talaga. Okay. And very informal po tayo, uh, uh, Anyway, I just want to ask if uh, all of us are can speak Filipino. Meron ba tayong kwan? English is speaking dito. So I think uh, pwede akong mag Ilocano din. And then Filipino, sometimes English. Okay. And again, thank you and good morning. Uh, patularan ko na rin yung style nila, Ma'am Rika. Please type three if you are still there. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you very much. Yan eh. Ayan. Maraming salamat. Okay, uh, let me share my uh, my presentation. Ayan, kita niyo ba? Yes po sir, nakikita po. Let me just... Okay. So ito po yung nabigay na topic sa amin. Uh, hindi ko rin alam kung kaya namin i-discuss actually. 
na inaccept din namin and then na suggest din namin for us to uh, learn more or so. Uh, if you ask me kung ilan percentage na yung alam ko regarding journal system and the digital repository, masasabi kong nasa 10% pa lang ako. Okay? Uh, pero ang aking urge and concept, I think nasa 95% naman. So yun, yun po yung kwan. Uh, gusto kong i-share sa inyo ngayon na hindi, kahit hindi natin makuha yung 100% skills, basta makuha natin yung concept, pwede natin uh, maigo yung mga gusto natin gawin sa ating uh, unit, institution, or libraries. Anyway, meron bang hindi librarian dito na participant? Kasi nakikita ko parang halos pro librarian. And then parang 50% kakilala ko. Meron po bang? Uh, just type 4 kung merong hindi librarian. Nasa library lang pero hindi librarian. Meron? Okay, okay, sige, sige. Ayun, so dalawa po kaming uh, resource person po dito. Ako, uh, actually ako yung bali yung mag-introduction lang. Pero doon sa technical, si Carl na yung uh, babanat doon. <laughs> And so hanggang for this morning, uh, I will just discuss uh, the introduction part. And then yung mga technical, binibigay ko na kay Carl. Then of course, andun din ako na kwan, tutulong din for some other kwan, uh, backup. But uh, for this morning, we will just uh, I will just tell the introduction or share the introduction and then uh, kung meron kayong tanong, uh, paki type na lang dyan sa chat box and then I think Ma'am Rita will collate and ask anytime during our uh, presentation para masagot natin agad. So kung meron lang kayong question agad, uh, itype nyo na para masagot ko na agad. Okay. Ayan. So bali ang pinaka main topic natin for this uh, three days uh, webinar and training is uh, the setting up setting up of digital repository in journal system so actually merong mga ibang extra topic na i-share kami diyan aside from the digital repository and journal meron din kaming mga ibang uh, if in case na walang uh, hindi kakayanin meron namang other solutions but we will start with the digital library, digital archive, digital repository, iisa lang yan. Yeah? And then the journal system. Sometimes nakakalituhan lang dun sa term. Pero para sa akin, yung digital library, digital repository, digital archive, isa ang tinutukoy niya. We're dealing with uh, same uh, standard. Yan. So, ito yung nalagay sa ating mga kwan, sa mga promo infographics. Learn about the aspect of smart libraries like digital repository, journal system, off-site digital library, and many more. Okay. Kanina may nakita akong kwan, exciting. Uh, sad to say, hindi po exciting yung, exciting yung topic natin ngayon. No? So, <laughs> talagang kwan, uh, medyo boring talaga siya kasi... Uh, supposed to be mas exciting ito kung face to face pero kung sa online uh, may kahirapan po okay uh, please uh, lahat ba tayo naka kwan naka laptop or naka computer baka yung isa 
naka-monitor ka doon sa naka-live sa net yung laptop mo and then yung cellphone mo andito sa Zoom. Pwede yun, uh, mas okay. Pero kung ang gamit mo is isa lang, talagang uh, uh, ang may, may advice ko lang sa'yo ngayon is uh, just receive the concept. Uh, pag mo munang intindihin yung skills. Concept mo na yung kwan. Uh, intindihin natin ngayon. Anyway, we cannot promise na uh, after this uh, webinar or training, uh, skill ka na. Kaya, nang, kaya nga nang nasabi ko kanina, 10% pa lang yung alam ko dito sa mga system na ito. Pero yung concept, at least mataas yung uh, percentage ng aking concept. Yan. Yan. Ito yung nasasabi ko kanina, yung presentation objectives. Pasensya na sa uh, presentation ko talagang rasly done. No? Kasi this week, uh, mayroon kaming napahabol na uh, CHED uh, proposal. So, pabalik-balik, pang lima ng revision na. So, and then, mayroon pang nataon na instant na accreditation. So, hindi ko gaano napaganda yung aking presentation. Anyway, uh, basta ang importante yung concept natin. Yun yung gusto kong tutukan natin. Na at least uh, yung idea natin, yung drives natin na uh, to forego at least mataas. Kalimutan mo muna natin yung skills. Ibigay na natin sa mga uh, IT persons yung skills. Kala ko mayroong question. So, itong presentation natin, hindi siya yung pinaka-the best. Pero pwede na. At least 10% skills and 90% concept. <laughs> I hope you will uh, agree with me. Wait lang, naglalag yata yung net ko. Ayaw niyang mag-move forward. Wait lang ha. Sabihin to yung aking... Uh, presentation. Ayun. So yung outlines pa natin, uh, of course, uh, we want to define kung ano yung journal system, kung ano yung institutional repository, then identify the differences kasi we have to accept na marami sa ating mga librarians ang nahihilo sa institutional repository at sa journal system. Yung iba nga, yung repository, uh, pinakakamalang library system, integrated library system. Yeah. So yun, uh, marami akong naririnig na gano'n ng mga kasamahan. Okay. Kahit na uh, isa na sa mga nire-respect na librarians, mayroon pa rin gano'n. Eh. Iba yung kanilang uh, classification sa mga repository, journal, and uh, integrated library system. Of course, we want to give some examples of repository and journal system. And then, kung ano yung status niya sa Pilipinas. And then, identify some open access data libraries that can be used at the library and shared with users. Okay. Install and manage the institutional repository. Then, try natin. Uh, uh, yung introduce namin, uh, I think alam na ninyo, yung Greenstone Data Library. Uh, ten years ko nang hindi nagagalaw. So, ngayon lang ulit, kuhan, try, try kong i-review kung kaya ko pa. And then demonstrate in process the content creation of repository and journal system. So we will not uh, require you to, uh, 
Ang gagawin nyo na lang, manood. <laughs> Kasi alam naman natin na talagang mahirap din po. Uh, yung face-to-face nga, ma- mahirap i-monitor yung 20 participants na tigisa in how much more sa online. So, we have to accept na manonood na lang kayo sa screen and then receive all the knowledge and concept. Provide access to university or institutional publication in thesis online. So, yun po yung, isa na, yun po yung outline natin na gusto natin gawin uh, for this uh, trainees uh, webinar. Okay, so what is, I don't know if you can see my text sa inyong screen. Anyway, babasahin ko na lang. So unang discussion natin is repository. So bukas, uh, isusunod natin yung journal system. And then this afternoon, Uh, hello, Sir Loren. Mukhang naputol po ata si Sir Loren. So, uh, participants, ano, kindly uh, bear with us muna. Bear with Sir Lawrence muna for the meantime. And so, ano lang po, uh, while waiting for our resource speaker to come back, um, kindly fill out the morning attendance po na sina ni Ma'am Rika. And so, uh, sorry po for any inconvenience, so bear with us po. I will just wait po for Sir Lauren. I think nagko-connect po siya. So while waiting po, let me just ask po everyone uh, to please fill in yung ating survey form which is posted po sa ating uh, chat box. Ayan, so 
uh, ito pong survey na ito, it will really help us po. So just so we could see, we could um, malaman po natin kung ano yung gaps po ng ating mga, ng ating workforce in the government agency. So uh, we have the technical and management aspect po. And so itong survey po na ito is for government agencies. Ayan, so we could see yung kanilang competency, yung kanilang ICT gaps, kung ano ba yung needs po ng ating workforce when it comes to ICT. Ayan, so if you have um, a minute po, you can just take po our short survey. Ayan, uh, technical and management. Okay, so thank you po. And of course po, don't forget to fill in yung ating attendance form which is as well posted sa ating chat box. Thank you po. Hello. Okay. It's me. Thank you very much. Sorry for the inconvenience. Biglang <laughs> naputol yung aking kwan. Nalobat para ako. Uh, let me just share my screen now. Yes po, sir. No worries po. <laughs> Yun po yung challenge natin, sir, no? Pag ano na tayo <laughs> digital, sa digital world, no? Una pala nakita na ko na hindi nakacharge yung aking laptop. <laughs> Sige po, mag-share na po ako. No worries po. Okay, uh, word. sorry for the inconvenience. Naputol ako. Uh, what we were discussing a while ago is yung one natin, no? Sa definition na ating repository. Okay. So, you will usually see this sa mga kwan. Kapag mag-Google tayo, uh, define Google, ay <laughs> repository sa Google. Ito yung mga usually na lumalabas. Let me just uh, clarify it para uh, makaintindihan tayo. No? So, ang first na definition is uh, an institutional repository is an online archive for collecting, uh, preserving, and disseminating digital copies of the intellectual output of an institution, particularly a research institu institution. So, yung mga knowledge product ng, ng isang group kaya nga tinatawag na institutional repository. And then the second uh, uh, definition is an institutional defined database for collecting, storing, preserving, and disseminating research out of an institution. So meaning for purpose of access. Okay. Yan yung isa itong uh, kaibahan da sa journal system. Okay? Kasi sa journal system, meron tayong mga tinatawag na mga kwan eh. Mga impact, citation. Yeah. Dito sa uh, repository, its uh, main goal is to preserve and provide access. Okay? Yan yung repository. Okay? The next one, na uh, Definition is, is a digital library in which an institution deposits its academic research output, yun, preservation, deposit lang siya. Okay. And then the other one is a digital archive of the intellectual product created by the faculty, research staff, and students of an institution and made accessible to its users both within and outside the institution with few or no barrier, barriers to access. So ito yung ang karamihan na digital library or repository dito sa Pilipinas. It's more of kumbaga within the campus or within the institution. Uh, kumbaga nakalan lang siya or one uh, uh, local area network. Hindi siya karamihan nakalabas sa web because of the issue on the copyright. Yeah, mga copyright, copyright niya. 
So, yun po yung mga nakikita natin na situation sa Pilipinas. And the next one is uh, a set of services that a research institution offers to the members of its committee for the management and dissemination of digital materials created by the institution in its community members. So, hindi lang karamihan, pero dito sa Pilipinas kasi karamihan sa academic side yung nanggagaling yung mga ganitong klase. Pero lahat ng aspect of the community, pwede silang mag-provide or mag-create ng digital repository, digital archive. Yan po. The next one is an electronic library system of digital information sources showcasing the intellectual output of institutions. So yun po yung mga other definitions. And then the last one, an online database designed to collect the intellectual output of a particular institution or university, including digital collections such as electronic thesis, preprints, faculty scholarship, and other. Actually, lahat na ng klase pwede ni archive basta uh, digital siya. Yun po yung uh, repository. Repository, uh, kumbaga, bahay lang siya. Wala nang ibang kwan. Uh, kung gusto, gusto mong mag-upgrade, siguro po mag-i-upgrade mo sa journals. Kung, uh, pero kung itong kwan kasi, kung bakit mayroong sa amin, sa Benguet State University, dalawa yun. Kung bakit kami nag-repository, meron pa kaming journals. No? Meron kasi yung tinatawag na preprint. No? So yan yung, doon mo i-archive yung mga uh, thesis format. Kapag na-journal format na siya, then pwede nilang isubmit sa other uh, journal uh, publishers or pwede rin dito sa kung meron kayong journal system sa school. Yun, merong mga, merong mga peer reviewing doon. Okay? Dadaan ka sa matinding peer reviewing. Dito sa repository, walang uh, peer reviewing. Okay? Meron man, basta siguro approval lang ng yung admin ng repository. Ito yung mga issue-issue ngayon sa karamihan sa atin sa academic world. Merong mga magagaling mag-publish sa repository and then i-claim nila sa sa kanilang promotion lalo na sa mga faculty. May mga nagpapasa sa nagsasubmit ng research sa repository website. And then i-claim nila sa 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 mga kapag ilagay nila sa kanilang CV or resume, sasabihin nila nakapag-publish kami. Pero kung titingnan mo, repository database lang yung uh, pinag-publishan niya. And then marami na akong nakitang lumusot na faculty na ganyan. Kasi yung mga halimbawa sa mga kaming uh, government universities, meron kaming uh, tinatawag na NBC. Marami ng faculty na nakalusot doon na nag-submit lang sa repository. Yung na-present, yung nag-validate naman doon sa sa center ng NBC for promotion para maging professor. Inaknalit naman niya kasi hindi nila alam na repository pa lang yun, pala yun. Uh, yung mga technical know-how ng mga andun, hindi nila alam na i-classify na repository, journal system ba siya, and whatsoever. Kung library system ba siya, baka LMS lang siya or CMS lang siya, So, nakakalituan po yung well, po tayo doon. So, anyway, talagang dito sa Pilipinas kasi uh, talagang uh, baby, kung baga nasa infant stage pa yung ganitong initiatives. Although matagal ng topic na ito sa librarianship. Pero yung implementation talagang infant pa rin yung uh, even as nga infant pa rin yung style namin sa pagmanis because we st we also lack uh, personnel to do it but at least nagtry kami yeah. yun lang yung kagandahan do do you have any question mamrika baka may paki-interrupt lang sa kwan kasi hindi ko nakikita yung mga kwan naka uh, naka full share ako
Uh, yes po, Sir Loren, we are allowing po yung ating participants, no? If you have questions po, you can chat po sa ating uh, chat box and we will acknowledge it po. Thank you. Uh, sige ma'am, thank you. Uh, Mag-question lang po kayo para kuan, medyo magising naman ako. Uh, try nyo mag-question. Kung kaya, kung kaya kong sagutin, sagutin ko na ngayon. Kung hindi ko kaya, i-resource ko din sa sagutin ko bukas. Uh, okay, uh, yung Philippine status natin dun sa... Uh, kasi meron tayong tinatawag na directory of uh, repositories. Yan. Uh, sa, yan yung tinatawag nilang open door. Okay. Directory of open access repositories. Yan. Doon natin tinitignan kung sino ba yung nakaregister na na repositories sa buong Pilipinas. Yeah. Uh, try natin ko. So, be, ba, base, uh, this is one week ago na aking screenshot. Ito yung nakikita ko, meron tayong nine na repositories. Meron ako na itong AHS, I think uh, this is Ateneo. Matagal na ito, uh, halos kasabayan namin. Way back 2010 pa. So ang gamit naman nila is uh, na software is DSpace. Uh, hindi po tayo mag-install ng DSpace. Uh, may may medyo technical yung kanyang installation. So ang gagawin lang natin is uh, we will just show the encoding part. Okay? I think uh, isa dito sa mga participants dati kong staff noon uh, pwede siyang magturo na eh, sa encoding part. And then itong IES online repository. Di space din bago to. Uh, wala wala dati ito noon. Itong Asian Development Bank kasabayan din natin 'yan. Way back uh, mga 10 years ago. So ito yung mga kwan. Mga top 9 na repositories na available na nakalista kay Directory of Open Access uh, Repositories. Si Bahandi yan ng CPU, uh, bago lang to I think, uh, last year. Yan. So, the space din yung kanilang nagamit na software or platform. And then, of course, kami, Bengit State University Library, matagal na to uh, way back 2010 pa. Uh, meron, pa meron pa kami isa na the space din na pinagamit we're supposed to uh, switch to the space kasi mas okay yung the space for collaboration kasi gusto namin sana yung collaboration within the cordillera and then we'll collaborate with other universities para pwede yung remote uh, remote encoding kasi dito sa greenstone hindi pwede yung remote encoding so kami nga kailangan pupunta ka pa sa server para bago mo ma-update Yun yung kahirapan doon sa Greenstone. But when it comes, kapag small library ka, or kumbaga, wala kang balak na i-online or masyadong mag-update, kapag man, monthly kang mag-update, may kahirapan doon sa, uh, or mag-upload, may kahirapan sa Greenstone. Pero isa siya sa mga pinaka-friendly, pinaka-easy, hindi hindi na niya gaano kailangan ang technical know-how so kaya ginamit namin ang greenstone noon okay. including ngayon pala yeah. and then we have the safe deck dati din ito uh, mas nauna pa yata sa amin si safe deck na nag na nagregister sa directory and then bago din yung UP Baguio Open Digital Repository. Uh, I think uh, this is managed by the research uh, department. I think, yeah. And then the Western Mindanao State University. Uh, hindi ko kabisado kung ano yung nagamit nila na software. Hindi ko pa siya nabibisita. So yan po yung nine na repositories within the Philippines. So would you imagine na sa dami ng universities nine lang yung kwan. Meron dito no. 
So, plus, yung halimbawa sa safe deck, hindi ito university. Yan. Si Asian Development, hindi rin university. So, yun yung one. Uh, there is a need uh, to spark up yung repository natin. Lalo ngayong pandemic. Uh, be re-needed yung repositories natin. Kailangan na kailangan natin ngayon. So with this uh, kind of data, talagang be re siya. Hindi lang be re yeah? Kung baga nasa kwan pa siya. Ano yung first stage of uh, kwan? <laughs> so nine lang talaga yung kwan. Nakaregister. I, I believe marami din. Marami din nakita na kung na, na gumagamit ng mga institutional repository. Kaya lang, mayroong mga other universities na naka-close. Uh, limbawa, yung mga one of the top universities na kailangan kang pumasok sa kanilang IP one zone or naka-username password. So, hindi siya naka-open access. In others, naka-offline lang siya yung repository. Anyway, okay lang din yun. But for the purpose of access and you want to help your institution or university in the web ranking, you need to uh, put it on the web. Yun yung uh, lagi kong ini-encourage na tulungan natin yung ating university institutions na mag-rank naman yung ating uh, online presence and web presence. Yan, actually, ito yung mga other uh, platforms. And then together with the, some of the features na kung saan sila compliant. Yan. Uh, actually, hindi pa ako, hindi talaga ako bihasa sa mga pangalan ng mga ito. No? Uh, Greenstone is very common. The space is very common. E-Prince, uh, common din yan. Fedora, na naririnig ko yan. Uh, karamihan sa Africa ang mahilig sa Fedora. Yeah. In the other uh, plot software, hindi ko nakabisado. No? Ang kagandahan naman dito is uh, halimbawa yung napiling natin software ngayon, CD Space at saka si Greenstone uh, OAI compliant naman siya. So no problem. No? So open archives initiatives. Ibig sabihin uh, yung metadata niya uh, interoperable siya. So, ibig sabihin, uh, di, pwede siyang ma-harvest. Pwede siyang ma-harvest ng mga uh, web harvester natin. As long as you will open your system. Okay? So, yun yung mga kwan. Itong Dublin Core din siya. Itong Dublin Core na metadata. Uh, pasok din yung ating Greenstone at saka yung DSpace. So, meron dun yung Yung DSpace, nakamark compliant din siya, pati yung Greenstone. Okay? So yung language natin, halos uh, okay naman. Okay naman yung ano. In other languages, gaya ng modes, itong modes. Uh, for object ito eh, object description. No? Ito daw yung papalit sa Dublin Core. Pero nabasa ko yung article way back uh, five years ago na... Old na daw yung Dublin Core. Ang papalit na daw is yung METS or MODES. Pero hanggang ngayon, Dublin Core pa rin yung uso ngayon. Uh, mas kwan kasi yung Dublin Core eh. Yung Dublin Core, 15 sets kasi na uh, tags yun. So mas madali mo siyang i-manage, mas madali mo uh, mag-encode kasi 15 sets lang. Eh. Unlike yung MARC, grabe, 700 uh, kwan na yun, no? 700 yung favel up mo na uh, uh, tags, subfield, and so on. So unlike for the Dublin Core, uh, 15 sets lang siya. Although we have to accept na limited yung search mo kapag ganun lang yung uh, tags or meta data sets mo. Kasi 15 lang. But for me, uh, in my own opinion, ang target naman natin is Preservation and access. 
Kaya, so okay lang yung Dublin Core na metadata sets. Para sa akin, ha? hindi ko lang alam sa inyo. But anyway, if you like to customize and use the other uh, metadata sets like Mark, no problem din yan. Mas maganda. Okay? Pero sa amin kasi, dito sa government, mostly government agencies, kulang na kulang sa tao. No? So, dun, dito na lang ako sa kung Dublin Core, mas madaling manage. No? Kasi kahit lagyan mo ng Mark na metadata sets, hindi mo naman may include lahat. Uh, useless din lang. Okay ba tayo? <laughs> Sige, matulog lang kayo dyan. <laughs> okay. Sa ako naman, tuloy natin. Sa image, uh, yung day space, halos ako naman niya, accepted naman lahat, no? Including greenstone. Pero dito sa ako na hindi siya nag-check, no? Pero based on our experience, lahat ng klase ng audio, Uh, video and uh, office basta meron doon sa inyong unit yung player niya gagana yun yan, yan yung experience namin sa Greenstone sa D space bata pa lang kami doon sa experience namin it's more sa ngayon uh, encoding part pa lang kami and then we have to accept hindi talaga maganda yung uh, template namin yung page namin We have to accept that. Yeah. But at least, na-install namin, na-ilagay namin sa web, masaya na kami doon. Okay? Uh, hihintayin namin na medyo lumag-log yung schedule and then mayroong mga available IT na magko-customize. Uh, then there will be a time for that. So ito po yung mga feature ng kwa natin. Uh, sorry, to, sorry to na... Puro di space at saka greenstone yung ano, feature ko dito kasi uh, yun yung gagawin natin sa training na to. Okay. Wala pa bang tanong ma'am, Rika? Uh, wala pa naman Sir Lawrence. Uh, sige, magkape lang kayo dyan ma'am. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, tuloy natin. Check yung... lang natin sila no if nandito ba sila. Oh, sige. So, if you have uh, if you have questions po, chat sa ating chat box. Kung wala naman po, chat zero po sa ating chat box. Chat zero po sa ating chat box. Ayan, thank you so much po sa response Sir Romel, Ergado Jr. from Baguio City, Sir Marlon. Ma'am Evelyn, Mark Ram, May Ann Hernando. Ayan. We have from Lawag City pa no, Sir Lauren, NWU Library, si Ma'am Nora Clemente. Ayan. So, and others, wala naman pong tanong. Oh, we can go ahead, Sir Lauren. Okay. So, yun. Proceed po tayo, Ma'am. Okay. So, Ito yung mga features ng repository platforms natin. Kaya pipiliin nyo lang kung ano yung nararapat sa inyo. No? Uh, kung ano yung gusto nyo. So ito yung Greenstone, makikita nyo. Uh, available siya in text, PDF, in HTML. Yan. Pero muna sabi ko kanina, accept nyo yung mga office files. <laughs> Nagawan kita ng pwesto. Ayun, so sa standards, uh, na-discuss na natin ng konti kanina sa previous slides. So, yung Greenstone and the space natin, uh, gaya ng nasabi ko kanina, at least Dublin Core, yung metadata standard natin. Merong mga other standards, kaya lang premise, mark, IAD, METS, and MODES. So, na-highlight ko yung dalawa kasi... Sir, yung... sir, sir Lau, sir Lau, si Christian po ito ng UNT po. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so, so, ito po ba yung, yung, ito po ba yung, ano, yung mark dito po is yung 21 po? Yes, ma'am. Any, any, any kind of mark po yan. 
Opo. Christian James, sir. Christian from Bigan. So, UNP Bigan, sir. Opo. Yes. Salamat, sir. Salamat po. Yes, ma'am. So, yan po yun. Uh, upgrade, upgrade lang naman po yung mga mark natin. So, yan po yung pinaka mark natin. Mark 21. So, anyway, uh, when it comes, siguro kung tinatanong nyo kung paano mag-switch-switch sa mga metadata standards, uh, ipaubayan na naman po natin sa mga programmer po natin yan. Na halimbawa, gusto nating i-mark yung metadata standards natin, sila na po yung bahalang uh, i-switch yung ating standards. Okay. And then, why protocol standards are important? Okay. So, ano ba ang uh, kahalagahan ng standards? Bakit tayo mag-standard? Okay. Unang-una is, Tama ba yung spelling ko dyan? Interoperability. Yung interoperability, yung, yung nga, yung gusto mong mag-switch, ayaw mo na dun sa uh, software na yon Gusto mong mag-change. At least yung interoperability, mas madali na lang. Okay? Yung mapping niya, halimbawa, sa mga programmers, madali mo siyang i-target yung halimbawa, yung sa mark, ang ang mark ng author I think is 100 tama ba? Yan. Then doon naman sa Dublin Core, meron siyang tag ng creator. So kung ikaw yung programmer doon, madali mo na lang sa imap na yung tag 100 pupunta doon sa tag ng creator doon sa Dublin Core. So yun yung kagandahan ng protocol standards. Unlike kung uh, uh, personal tags na ginawa mo programmer ka hindi wala kang basis na protocol standard ikaw na yung gumawa ito yung karamihan na ginagawa ng mga programmer na in-house ito or kumbaga sarili mo lang na ikaw yung gumawa gusto mong gumawa ng database mo wala kang sinusunod na standard so halimbawa gusto mo nilagay mo doon author tapos ang nilagay, uh, nilagay mo lang doon na tag is kung ano-ano lang So doon sa interoperability and mapping, may hirapan ka kasi in-house yung ginawa mo. Unlike kung default na yung mga protocol standards natin, yung pag-transfer-transfer natin sa mga ibang platform, uh, at least uh, hindi gaanong mabigat. Hindi na gaanong kumbaga, iiyak. Yeah. <laughs> And then no, sa usage also, in other uh, features na Juan, marami kang kaya nga na-create yung protocol standards para for ease, ease of use. Yun po yung gamit po ng protocol standards. Okay. Nasabi ko kanina yung kung ano, kasi yung mga repositories natin, meron tayong tinatawag na open archives initiatives na kung ano, protocol metadata for harvesting. So, kaya yun yung gamit ng pro protocols para mas madali namang ma-harvest, makuha, ma-transfer, uh, mag-switch. Yan po yung uh, kaya, meron, kaya karamihan sa atin ngayon uh, nagko-comply dito sa mga OAI na features. So, yun. So, So halimbawa dito sa service provider uh, ito yung harvester no so halimbawa si Google gusto niyang i-harvest yung data mo mas madali niyang makukuha kasi uh, yung protocol mo ay naka OAI na siya no Ang hirap intindihin ba? Hirap ba? Okay, basta basta ganun yung yung uh, process ang pinakamadaling explanation na lang siguro is yung data natin complied na siya sa mga protocol standards at i-open pa natin sa web para mas madali namang makita ni service provider or harvester. Gaya ni Google Scholar. Uh, sa ngayon, naka-open yung aming uh, 
data library or digital repository. So, yung mga faculty na naman ang nag-upload ng mga thesis ng students, kapag mag-open sila ng kanilang Google Scholar profile, nade-detect naman ni service provider yung kanilang thesis na in-archive namin dito. So, yung halimbawa may nag-site ng thesis nila at in-upload din namin dito sa data provider namin. So, yung, yung credits mapupunta doon sa original na nag-publish. Magulo ba yung what? Magulo, parang magulo yung explanation ko. Ah. Naintindihan ba, Mamrika? <laughs> Yan. So, basta ganun yung ano. Uh, kumbaga, kung magmamarket ka sa uh, SM, madali na lang. Kasi, sa, alam mo na yung kung kukunin mo eh. Nakaset na yun doon sa uh, isip mo na mayroon kang listahan, direct na pupuntahan mo na yung kwan. Direct makukuha mo na agad. Ganon. Ganon yung kwan. Unlike kung nakalock in key yung bibilhin mo, tatawagin mo pa si sales lady na magbubukas ng cabinet. Ganon yun. So, yun po yung kung naka-cabinet siya, hindi siya naka-OAI. Kapag open shelves, naka-OAI. So, ganun po yung pinakamadali siguro yung explanation doon sa how OAI PMH works. Kaya kung sa akin lang, kaya I'm more of the, I'm a promoter of open access kasi matutulungan ko yung mga faculty na nag-publish, student na nag-publish sa amin, nag-archive sa amin, na makuha naman, ma-distribute yung kanilang uh, produce knowledge. And at the same time, kung sila ay uh, faculty na at nag-create sila ng Google Scholar profile, at least pride nila na merong nag-site sa kanilang uh, nagawang knowledge or product na knowledge. So yun po yung kagandahan naman ng uh, Open Archives initiatives. But mostly, talaga ang purpose nito is for interoperability. Pero yung output niya, yun po yung sinasabi ko. Ay, ito na nga eh. Parang kung ano, naunahan ko pala yung explanation mo. No? What is the impact of OAI PMH Store Repository in OGS, Open Journal System? Ito, uh, first, drives back traffic to your databases. That's helping your institution, organization, and web ranking, and usage statistics. Ngayong pandemic, usong-uso na yung ano, usage statistics sa web kasi wala na yung face-to-face ano, -face na mag statistics ka. Ang laban na ngayon, ilan yung nag-access sa'yo. Okay. So yun po yung kagandahan niya ngayon. Ngayon, is a harvesting of data? Yan po yung uh, impact in dahilan kung bakit tayo mag-OAI. Helps researchers find your resources. Kumusta dyan? Dyan pa kayo? <laughs> Check ko lang yung chat kung mayroong question. Mayroon pa akong mag-switch dito. Uh, gusto ko sana mag-sample ng paano yung power of metadata. No? Kasi halimbawa sa, i-explain ko na lang dito, no? kahit hindi ko na idea mo. Dito sa computer natin, laptop natin, uh, try yung mag-control F1. Uh, Mag-source kayo ng mga wala dyan. And then, doon sa isang image din, na kapag nasa sa ating bawa si Ma'am uh, Ma Rika, isearch mo yung Rika dyan sa, sa net mo. Kung wala kang masasasas na Rika. Me, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Ay, sir, ano po, may tanong po sa ating chat box, sir. Ah, meron ba? Sige, sige. Apo, galing kay Sir Paul Kumbali, sir. Ayan. And sabi niya dito, good morning, sir. I would like to ask regarding your experience in integrating alt, alt metrics slash 
Plumex in your institutional repository or do you have any other metric system in monitoring the impact and citation of uploaded materials contained in institutional repository? Yun po yung tanong ni Sir Paul Kumbali, Sir. Okay. Uh, Sir Paul, ma very, pero pa rin kami, very traditional pang kami when it comes to the matrix sa ngayon. No? Eh, hindi pa kami nag integrate Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, uh, baby pa lang yung aming greenstone at saka yung uh, the space namin. We are more on the uh, uploading part muna sa ngayon. Pero when it comes to matrix, hindi pa. Hindi pa kami, wala, wala pa kami sa ganong pan sa ganong states. Okay. Yun po yung one. Although, uh, ang, ini, ang ini-encourage lang namin dito sa amin is we encourage all our uh, non-teaching and teaching personnel to create their own uh, Google Scholar profile. Yun lang muna yung ini-encourage namin. But when it comes to monitoring, wala pa kami sa ganong states, sir. Uh, medyo uh, basic pa yung knowledge namin dyan. No? Did I answer your question, sir? Uh, noted daw po, sir. Thank you daw po. Okay. Yun, so wala pa wala pa yung kwan namin sa ganyang kwan uh, sir Paul. We are more of the uh, content creation pa muna. Okay, let's proceed. But uh, that is a good question uh, sir Paul. Uh, we will invest on that uh, knowledge that you want share to us. Actually, hindi rin pa kami gamay sa mga ganyang uh, skills. Okay? Uh, I'm still, yung mga ganyan na parang kwan eh. Kasi yung mga metrics, bibliometrics, metrics na yan. Nung training namin doon sa Europe noon, talagang nag-absend ako. Nahilo ako doon sa mga dami ng kwan. Uh, <laughs> is a stat uh, solution. So, na uh, Kumbaga, nag-skip ako doon sa process niya. Okay. Pag tayo mag-move. Ayan. <coughs> So, yun. so, yung aking take away dito sa repository natin, sa, sa ngayon, talagang it is a necessity of the repository system. Kailangan na po ngayon, very in need because of our situation. And yung OMH, uh, kailangan po natin yan uh, kapag mag-create tayo ng digital repository uh, tignan natin yung protocols natin and then of course ang pinaka main goal natin dyan is to provide access to our clients dapat federated siya okay lang naman na mag-start tayo offline pero sana ang goal natin is yung uh, federation natin na at least uh, yung uh, browsers, uh, harvesters natin nakikita tayo gaya ng Google. At least, uh, although alam naman yung pinaka-main uh, browser na Google, uh, maraming kwan yun. Pero kapag pupunta tayo doon sa uh, Google Scholar, at least uh, na-harvest naman tayo doon. At least mas kwan kasi yun, no? mas malinis ng konti. 
uh, we have to accept na ang repository hindi mang hindi na mangyayari yung centralized when it comes to repository including the journals parang mahirap yatang gawin yon no and then talagang decentralized na yung gagawin natin sa ating networks so that is our future so kanya-kanyang repository and at least it must be uh, compliant with uh, interoperability yun yung kan at least para kung mag one time one time stop shop search tayo dun sa ating browsers kita pa rin tayo yan isa isa ito sa mga issues noon na sinasabi nila na ang OPAC daw ay dead kung sa mga European na uh, academicians OPAC is dead sa kanila kasi daw hindi nakikita sa web di ba karamihan ng OPAC natin ah uh, lang kumbaga nakadip uh, nakadip si siya hindi siya nakikita sa Google Scholar hindi nakikita sa Yahoo sa kwan kailangan direct sana puntahan mo doon sa uh, link or OPAC link kaya sabi nila hindi federated the uh, meaning OPAC is dead sa kanila hindi daw yun hindi daw yun yung kwan idea in the future but anyway uh, yun yung kanilang mga ideas pero hanggang ngayon naman ganun yung kwan Puro nakadip web tayo when it comes to our OPAC. So yun yung target natin. At least ma-federate natin. Kung makikita nyo sa Google Scholar, uh, lahat naman tayo pupunta sa Google Scholar. Uh, of course, we are in a library world. Alam natin yan. Uh, you will observe na federated yung inyong systems. Kung makikita nyo yung, alimbawa, may na-upload kayong title. And then i-check nyo sa Google Scholar, meron doon. That is considered uh, compliance sa federation ng Google Scholar. Yun yung ibig sabi ng federated or federation. Uh, meron akong na-add dito issues in archiving sa Philippines, no? Uh, na idagdag ko lang to based on our experience, kasi we have a partnership also with uh, the other agencies to digitize. And then, sad to, uh, sad to say in share na lang na yung mga pinag-aaralan natin na when it comes to digitization na yung halimbawa yung TIFF na na file file format for our scanning yun yung ina-advise di ba sa atin para man nag-training naman tayo lahat sa kwan when it comes to digitization. Pero yung system, wala kang, kung ano, yung nabigay sa aming uh, system, walang TIFF file. So wala kang choice. We have to uh, go back to JPEG. Yeah. Kaya sa ngayon, medyo kung na ako ngayon, eh. uh, kinakalimutan ko na si TIFF file. <laughs> yeah. Aside from uh, masyadong mabigat, kinukulang na rin yung space sa uh, external. Wala din dun sa uh, features ng aming uh, scanner or system ng scanner. So yun yung isang issues dito rin sa... Kasi ang nag-deploy sa amin, naging picture ko pa ng, kwan, eh, ng digitization. So naisip ko bakit nila binigay yung system na alam naman nila. Kwan. Yun yung pinaka-basic na tinuro niya. Pero bakit walang TIF file? ang meron GP agad. Anyway, uh, kung sa akin lang based on our experience, kahit na GP file pa yan, basta maganda yung quality, you can revert it anytime naman sa TIFF. Ay, oo. So kahit na GP yung pagkuha mo, maganda yung quality. Then if you want to uh, give more mag mas maganda yung features in the future, you can convert it to TIFF file. Yun yung aking idea. Maybe you have any idea, you can uh, share it to us as a group. Okay. Okay. Uh, basahin ko na lang yung last, yung green zone. Green zone has both merits and problems. 
it is most suitable and convenient for installation, uploading of documents and usage for small and medium sized organizations. Okay. So, ito yung nakuha ko rin sa isang magandang page. Na talagang ang kapag mag-umpisa ka, mag-uumpisa ka pa lang. Pero kung may isa kang malaking organization na, you can start it big. Uh, maybe mag-start mag ka na agad sa, sa this space and other system. Pero kung isa kang baguhan, mag-isa ka lang, wala kang budget, in so na challenges, I encourage na dito ka muna mag-umpisa sa Greenstone Digital Library. Kasi mas easy, mas umbaga ko na eh. When it comes to sa technical support, baka minsan ka lang mag-avail kasi ang isa set up lang ng technical mo, yung banner mo, yung kulay, yung page, yung search settings, yung minsan lang yung na-set up niya, and then all the rest, encoding ka na lang. No? So yun yung kagandahan naman niya. Madaling iset up. Ang kahirapan naman ng Greenstone, madal, uh, mahirap i-update or mag-upload. Kasi halimbawa sa amin, kailangan namin pumunta sa server room para mag-upload. Meron, meron siyang provision for remote pero napakatagal napakatagal ng kanya process niya sa uploading kaya puntahan mo na lang doon sa server room doon mo na lang doon ka na lang mag-upload ang isa pang kagandahan pala ng Greenstone is halimbawa dito sa aking laptop dito ako nag-encode ng uh, upgrade nag-encode ng upgrade or uh, for uploading kukopyahin ko lang yung folder na nag-uploadan ko and then pupunta ako sa server room, ihuhulog ko lang yung folder doon, and then magre-rebuild ako, tapos na. Yan. So yun yung kagandahan ng, ng Greenstone Digital Library, na mer medyo easy siya. Of course, uh, matagal ko nang uh, hindi nagagawa. Salamat na lang DICT at ko, nagpa-training tayo. <laughs> Oh, kakaiba yata yung ano. Yeah. So, ang pag-uusapan talaga natin ngayon is, is more of the Greenstone at saka the space. Uh, to give you a simple background, yung Greenstone is from New Zealand, University of Waikato, way back in 1995. In other texts, 1997 daw. Available in 59 languages. But yung nakikita kong upgrade ngayon ng 3.0, marami ng languages na pagpipilian yung library and interface. Meron ng Arabic, meron ng Chinese. Okay. Any further clarification? Naintindihan ba? You can share your knowledge kung meron kayong gustong i-share, idagdag, para hindi ako nervisin. Okay, let's move on sa Greenstone Data Library Details. So, year of development, dito naman na nasabi niya 1997. No? So, free and open source, yung licensing niya. Okay. So, ang pinakalitis re release is sa ngayon 3.10. Yata yung nakita ko. Eh. But we will use the 2.87 kasi doon sa upgrade na mag-umpisa ka sa uh, version 3.0, mataas yung requirements niya sa hardware. So kung ikaw yung library or unit or office na walang gaano magandang hardware, I, I advise na mag, dito ka lang sa lower versions. Makikita mo naman doon sa kwan eh, kapag mag-download tayo, napakataas ng 3.0 sa MB. Pero yung 2.87, konti lang. So, mas mataas yung hardware requirements ng uh, higher latest version. Of course, yung language niya, mayroong 
medyo old siya so kaya maraming uh, programmer ang hindi gaano bihasa dito kasi meron pa siyang pearl okay medyo old daw ito eh pero uh, hindi po ako programmer na hindi po ako what, expert yet basta ang sabi nung tumulong sa amin noon the pearl is an old language So yung platforms niya pwede siya sa Windows, Mac, Unix and Linux. Yan, so Open Archives compliant, yes. And then can store and manage all types of content. Ibig sabihin lahat ng klase basta digital. Sinubukan din namin nag archive ng nag-upload ng video na one hour pero parang kwan eh masyado siyang naglo-loading sa amin. Uh, ang isang factor doon is yung server namin uh, tower lang siya, yung kumbaga yung pinaka basic na server. And then merong tinatawag yung mga network admin namin na inbound outbound. So sa amin daw is uh, 50 yung papasok na mag-search 50 yung lalabas. So, yun yung kwan. Bale, 100 lahat. Yung simultaneous. Kaya kung so sobra na sa 100, yun, medyo may hahang na yung server mo. Ganon yung kwan. Impact daw. Yan. So, kailangan din yung magandang server. Quality ng server na at least kahit na thousand yung sabay-sabay na mag-search, hindi maghahang yung inyong server. So ito yung mga kwan, no? uh, halos na-discuss naman natin kanina. Okay, let me just share yung isang study. Uh, it is a comparison between the this space and Greenstone. Okay, can you can you see this uh, word screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So yon. So, ito yung comparison between the uh, uh, this space and green stool. So, bago bago lang yung this space. 2000 to sa mantalan ng green stool is 1997. Parehas naman silang uh, force or free and open source software. Yan. Halos parehas din silang makikita natin sa source forts. Doon natin i-download yung software. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, yung finishare nyo po ba? Ano? Yung PPT, sir? PowerPoint? Or ibang file na po? Kasi yung... may, may naka-share screen pero ang naka-appear is yung GSDL details. na ano slide. Ah, yes sir. By the way, yes sir, yung PowerPoint po yung ah, okay. Babalik ako doon mamaya. Sige sir, sige po. Thank you sir. Do okay lang ba diyan sa screen? Okay lang naman sir, uh, readable naman siya. Okay, sige sige. Bali ito yung kasi yung additional na ko na info. Uh, hindi ko siya na na i-mix doon sa aking PowerPoint. Okay, so ang pinaka latest release ng kwan, palitan ko to. Uh, ang Greystone is uh, something on the 3 version and then the this space is 4 and 5 plus. Huwag natin kwan to, hindi ko rin maintindi ang mga to, mga language na to. No? Language na ng mga technical. No? <laughs> Yan, sa mga programming language. So, dito sa DSpace, Java, and GSP, medyo bago-bago yung language, mas, mas uh, okay na siya. Pero dito sa Greenstone, old, older yung language. No? Yan lang yung mga, yung mga kaibahan, ka, medyo kahirapan. No? But anyway, kapag na-set up naman na hindi na naman, naman natin itatouch yan more on the content po tayo. 
sa library work. And then OAI, parehas lang uh, compliant. And then so dito sa metadata formats, halos pare-parehas lang naman. Naka-doubling ko. Yan, yan po yung pinakamain target natin. Uh, sa ngayon, kung yung other countries pa, Dublin Core pa rin, huwag na tayo siguro mag-advance pa na, mag-ambition pa ng mga panibagon mo. muna. Uh, dito muna tayo sa pinakasimple, the Dublin Core, the 15 sets. So yun po yung uh, differences ng kuha natin. Feature ng DSPs at saka Greenstone. Balik ko lang doon Okay, so that next is like that. Okay, so oh, medyo okay na tayo doon sa kwan, sa repository. Baka merong gustong mag-share and mag, merong other clarification sa repository. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa journal. Kaya nang nasabi ko kanina, uh, introduction yung gagawin ko. And then yung three remaining uh, uh, session more on the uh, present uh, online uh, session ng uh, training. Uh, excuse me, Sir Loren po. Yes, Sir? Hi, Sir. Ano po? Uh... Siguro by the time of 10.30 a.m., sir, ano, mag-start po tayo ng 10-minute break para makapag-rest kayo, sir. Tapos yung mga participants. So at 10.30, start po tayo ng 10-minute break. Okay. Sige, sir. Okay, sir. Sige, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so kung walang other clarification sa repository natin, again, uh, Ira-wrap up ko lang yung repository. Ang repository is uh, kambal po yan ni Digital Library and Digital Archive. Huwag po tayong medyo malito doon. Okay? When it comes to repository, Digital Library pa rin yan, Digital Archive pa rin yan. Ang purpose niyan is to preserve and provide access. And then merong mga pro protocol metadata, metadata sets like the Dublin Core. And then at least open archives na uh, compliance siya sana para mas madaling makita ng ating mga harvesters. Ngayon, uh, ang another topic natin is of the journal system. Okay. Uh, meron tayong mga journal, maraming klase ng journal system pero ang gusto namin i-promote is yung open journal system. It is a free software for the management of peer-reviewed academic journals. Okay. Basahin ko na lang muna siguro bago ko ipakita yung aming site. No? Ay, hindi ko pa pala napakita yung aming data library. Mamaya na lang. So yun yung ating journal systems. Merong mga commercial gaya ng ajournals.ph na hinarbis niya lahat ng journal sa buong Pilipinas tapos meron siyang login, username, password. So yun po yung commercial natin. Close content na uh, journal system sa Pilipinas. Pero tayo, uh, what we are aiming for is the, the journal system na at least open. Okay. So let me just define yung open journal system. Uh, was designed to facilitate the development of open access, peer-reviewed, ibig sabihin ng peer-reviewed, at least merong mga nag-review or merong mga consultant na uh, nag-critic dun sa article bago mapublish. Yan po yung ibig sabihin. No? Providing the technical infrastructure for the presentation of journal articles along with an editorial work, editorial management workflow. So merong workflow po yan. So yung makikita niyo ito siguro bukas merong mga workflow po yung uh, journal system natin. Merong submitter, merong uh, taga submitter, uploader and then 
taga review and then merong ang pinaka top na yon yung pinaka top admin siya yung mag-approve kung uh, ready for publication na yung uh, article na na-submit OGS relies upon individuals fulfilling different roles as as yan ito, ito na ito na pala yon journal manager journal editor journal reviewer, author, and reader. Yeah. So, yun po yung kwan, layers ng journal system. Unlike dun sa repository, talagang kwan, direct, direct upload na siya, di ba? Of course, uh, you can gawin namang parang some sort of peer review dun sa internal process na merong mag-critic mag internally bago mo i-upload dun sa repository. Pero dito sa journal system, kasalin na kasi yung mga different rules gaya ng editor, reviewer, man, journal manager. Okay po. Yan po yung pinagkaibahan ng journal system. Okay. Again, the journal system is not a library system. Okay. Iba po yun. Huwag po natin pag uh, naging interchange yung ating mga ideas. No? Uh, meron pa nga akong nakita ng kwan eh. Nagitang university dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. Ang ginamit niya, WordPress. Kung titignan mo, parang okay naman siya, okay yung presentation. Pero ang WordPress kasi, it's more of the content management siya eh. In blogs. So, ideal siya, pwede siya for the purpose of access. But for, for the purpose of registering it to Limbao, DOEJ, in other uh, directories, baka bagsak yung platform mo kasi iba yung nagagamit mo. Ang WordPress po basically is a blog site. Although I accept that it is a content management system. Uh, excuse me, Sir Loren. Sir? May, ano po, may nag-chat po dito sa ating chat box si ano, MPSPC-Library. Sabi niya, Sir Loren, we have been using the Greenstone software for a, from the start, but we noticed that it cannot upload videos. Ayan po ang sabi. Sagaran so, ba? Uh... Sa amin naman uh, nakakapag-upload kami, uh, you have to check siguro yung one, yung in front ninyo and then the quality of your uh, hardware being used. Baka doon tayo nakakaproblema. Doon sa nag-fail ba yung uploading or whatsoever. Hindi ko rin alam yung one. Eh. Pero sa amin, na-try na namin. Kasi multi one naman yan eh. Uh, audio, video, text in accept ng Greenstone. Uh, I-check nyo lang siguro doon sa, sa hardware. Baka andun sa hardware yung problem. Kasi we tried to upload uh, one hour, almost one hour, 43 minutes na video. Kapag upload naman po kami. But uh, hindi na namin inulit it's more of the text na lang. Kasi we realize na mahihirapan din yung aming server kung kwan. Opo, uh, you need to siguro palitan nyo yung kwan. Medyo maganda-gandang computer. High-end ang gamitin nyo na computer. Yung malapit na dun sa specs ng server na at least tower na server. Yeah. Or basic Yan po yung kwan. Sir Jen, andito na ako sa chat. Ha? Binabasa ko na. Meron yata ang tanong si Ma'am Luis. Okay, sir. Sige po. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Uh, GX po ba yung ginagamit mo for the Elokanja archive you did for the thesis? Elokanja or Kariana? Kariana yata eh. Uh, yun, po, uh, yun po yung Kariana namin. Ah, uh, kuan yun. Greenstone po yun. Oh. Greenstone po yun, yun po. 
Uh, siguro sir, uh, balikan ko na lang yung one, no? Yung i-present ko lang yung one website namin kung makikita natin yung sa Greenstone bago tayo mag-full na mag-proceed dun sa journal system. Okay lang sir, no? I-stop share ko lang. Or post. Okay, uh, puntaan ko lang yung website ng aming journal system. Ano nangyari dito? May namulta yata ako. <laughs> Ayun. Ayan, minimize ko muna. Sige lang, magkape kayo dyan. Ang hirap mag-response ng aking mga. Wait. May other questions habang pinupuntaan ko yung one? Uh, Greenstone Digital Library namin. Okay, let me share my screen. Yeah. Yan, so can you see my screen? Yes, yes sir. Opo. Okay, so ito po yung sample ng aming Greenstone na data library. Uh, I'm sad na hindi ko na na-update ito uh, sa dami na ng activities na dumadating. But we created this way back. Ano ba itong date niya dito? 2010 yata. Yan, 2010. So makikita niyo sa baba, we uh, established this way back 2010 through the help of the uh, ICT department. Sila yung tamang-tama uh, naman kasi na pumunta ng India yung namin chief ng IT. Ito yung naging training niya. So ma madali na yung madali na kami naka-adapt. So, concept lang yung na-introduce namin. Siya na yung bahalang nag-install in Soiver. So, ito yung ito yung kanya. Ito yung front page niya. So, pwede ka mag-create ng maraming collections. Kanya, halimbawa, yung research journal. Yan ang sabi ko, hindi naman siya talaga pang journal ito. Pero, uh, naglalagay din kami ng journal dyan. For the purpose of access lang. For the purpose of access lang. Okay? So, meron din kaming sub-database na karyana. Uh, hopefully, may marinyo namin yung mga mawa natin dito. So, it's more of the Cordillera thing. Anything under the sun about the Cordillera. No? Then, the dissertation, faculty, and then undergraduate, records, archives. Ito yung sana yung kwan namin. No? Pero hindi namin siya na-maintain. Uh, anyway, ang purpose lang naman dito is masabi ko sa inyo na nagawa namin, uh, meron namang konti ng konti. So, ito yung ito yung uh, kumbaga at least 
may ibibigay kong evidence para maging qualified naman ako kung ano lecturer niyo ano. <laughs> Ayun. So, try natin buksan yung kwan kariyan. So, yan yung mga thumbnail lang niya. And then, pag-click mo yung thumbnail, doon po, po papasok na doon. Uh, bali, nine data, sub-databases yan. Within the Greenstone platform or database na repository, pwede ka mag-create ng napakaraming sub-database. Sa limbawa, kapag ikaw ay yung, yung clan nyo, uh, family A, family B, family C, kapag nasa LGO ko naman, limbawa, nasa legislative files, executive uh, files, judiciary files, pwede yun na gawin. Yan. So, meron din siyang mga, kwan, mga search uh, tabs na pwede mong puntahan kung gusto mong mag-search. So, parang opak din siya eh, yung nangyari. Kaya lang ang nagamit lang dito is 15 sets na metadata. Yung Dublin Core lang. Although yung Dublin Core, uh, tags or sets, repeatable meaning, pwede mong, halimbawa yung sa mark natin, tag 100, pwede, pwede mong i-double-double yun hanggang kwan, kung ilan. Pwede mong i-duplicate yung tag 100 para ma-accommodate mo yung maraming authors. Yun yung, uh, kwan naman dito, repeatable, yun yung term nila. Repeatable yung mga tags or sets, metadata sets. Ang isa palang disadvantage ng Greenstone, kung makikita nyo dito sa taas, napakahaba ng kanyang URL. Isa, isa ito sa mga kwan. Uh, kinukot siya ng mga ibang kwan. Providers din. Napakahaba na lang ng URL niya kapag pupunta ka doon sa pinaka-site. So, ganito po yung naumpisaan namin. I think uh, more or less 1,000 yung titles dito na na-upload namin. Ay, hindi pala, mga 3,000. Yeah. So, available siya in PDF, available din siya in HTML. So, ganito po yung uh, itsura ng Greenstone Digital Library. Meron na bang nakapag-implement sa inyo ng Greenstone Data Library sa atin? Aside from the NPSPC? Pag-type naman kung meron ang naka-implement na kayo para maybe you can share some experiences para matuto tayong lahat. Uh, sir Loren, naka-mute po ata kay sir. Ayun. Hello. Sir, may tanong po ulit, sir, sa chat box po. Ay, sir. Yung tanong po ba ni Kwan yun? Si Sir Paul po. Sir Paul Kumbali, sir. Oh, yeah. 
Ako pang nawala? <laughs> medyo, medyo na wala kayo ng saglit, sir, eh. Ay, ganun. Opo. Eh, another question, does uh, GSDL have a functionality in terms of conversion of metadata standard? Example, we'll upload mark format and will be converted to Dublin Core. Uh, yun po yung gamit ng kuha natin, standard natin in interoperability. Pwede po, sir. Pwede. But of course, uh, kailangan yung technical know-how, no? yung mga programmers natin. Kaya po nila yan. Pero kung yung situation mo ngayon, sir, na mark yung i-convert mo into Dublin Core, Parang sayang naman. Kasi nag-effort ka nang nag-encode nag, nag tapos i-convert mo into Dublin Core. E yung Dublin Core 15 sets lang yun. So meaning maraming magagarbage out na na-encode mo. Kasi yung kapag i-map mo yung Dublin Core na 15, tags lang tapos uh, sa mark, maraming matatapon eh, sayang. So mas okay pa kung doubling core to mark kasi mag -i ma walang masasayang doon na data doon sa doubling core mag -i improve i enhance mo pa sa mark. Yan yung aking idea kasi kung limbawa yan nga pupunta ka doon sa 15 sets maraming matatapon po doon na data mo. Okay, eh, ibalik ko doon sa aking na-share kanina na site ng So yun, so ito yung site ng Greenstone Data Library namin available yung PDF at saka yung HTML format yeah. uh, When it comes to PDF naman uh, we make sure na PDF A yung aming file format sa PDF. So, pero kung minsan sa, sa mabilisan na pagkukonvert, nakakaligtan mo na yung i-click yung PDF archival. Okay. Kuha ba natin? So dapat yung kapag PDF yung in-archive natin, dapat daw PDF A. PDF slash A. Yung uh, type or kind of PDF na gagamitin natin para pang matagalan daw yung PDF. Wala pang nakakatry kasi wala pa namang kwan. Walang nakaka-advance ng oras. Pero yun daw yung gamit ng PDF in which I agree. Kasi kung inobserve ko yung ordinary PDF at saka yung PDF A Tinignan ko yung kanilang properties. Mas maraming uh, properties yung PDF A kisa dun sa ordinary PDF file. Kaya naniniwala akong mas maganda na uh, gawin nating PDF A, yung, PDF, yung converted text natin into PDF A for the purpose of archiving. Parang meron pang isang sagot uh, tanong dito. Okay, thank you sir. Consideration lang po for future development integrations and upcoming development of metadata standards sa big frame yan. So, matagal-tagal na rin akong hindi nakukuan doon sa big frame, no? Kasi parang ewan ko ba eh, parang na na discourage do, na ako doon sa advanced development kasi uh, advanced yung policies, rules, protocols Pero yung development ng ating systems and itong providers, hindi naman siya sila compliant eh. So kumbaga, uh, siguro hindi, po, hindi pa muna yung ganun, ganun yung one ngayon. Uh,
Ayan, Sir Loren. Uh, medyo uh, nawala po ata uh, ulit si Sir Loren. Siri, so, tignan mo. Hindi naman talaga ha. Ay, excuse me, Sir. Sorry. Sir, Loren. Yes, sir. sir ano, um... Wawala-wala uh, kay sir. Ano sir, by the way, 10.30 na rin po. Ano? Start po muna tayo ng 10-minute break para makapagpahinga kayo sir and then makapag-break din si mga participants natin. And ah, then, uh, po. Sige sir. So let's take a break po muna sir and everyone. Okay sir, thank you. Sige po. Have a break.
Our time is up po for our 10 minute break. Hello, Sir Loren.
Uh, Sir JB, wala pa ata si Sir Lauren, no? Opo, oh, ma'am, wala pa ata siya. May okay. announcement ka po pa, ka po ba, Ma'am Rika? Uh, for a while po. Sige, Yung ating kong um, survey kanina, check pa lang ulit, sir. Um, I hope po na nakapag-fill in tayo sa ating morning attendance and dun po sa ating uh, survey form po kanina. And so we hope po na uh, nakapag-fill in po kayong lahat. Okay, so uh, also po sa ating mga participants, um, we'd like to ask as well if you have questions po um, sa ating by Sir Loren. Uh, you can just chat po sa ating chat box. Sir, yes. uh, Sir JB, uh, can you just take over po for a while? Sige ma'am, sige po. So ano po, while waiting po, ano, uh, reiterate ko lang po yung mga forms, attendance form, tapos yung sa, uh, yung sa competency needs assessment survey, paki-fill out po muna habang hinihintay po natin si Sir Loren. And then you can also prepare your questions para pagbalik ni Sir Loren, um, ready na po siya na itanong kay Sir Loren. Yes, what to our participants, yung ating survey form is for ano po siya, uh, government agencies po siya. Ayan po. Thank you.
Ayan, so to our participants, while we are waiting po for Sir Loren. Ayan, so uh, we'll just have po um, a question sa ating mga participants. Just go to menti.com and then insert the code 91955879. So just go to menti.com and insert the code 91955879. Ayan, so we'll be checking po naman yung ating mga participants. How are you coping up po with the uh, with our or with the pandemic? Ayan, so uh, we'll just wait po no for Sir Lauren for a while. Ayan po. So we have, ayan, may isa po tayong nag-comment uh, po. How are you coping up with the pandemic? Ayan, so discomfort daw po. Paano po kayo discomforted, sir, ma'am? Ayan, so keep it coming po. Ayan po, my social media detox daw po. Sir, ma'am, paano yun? <laughs> Optimistic. Ayan. So we have po to look on the positive side. Isolation. Ayan po, isolated po. New normal. Okay, so ito na po daw po yung ating new normal, no? Yung ating uh, during the pandemic. Self-care. And po, Sir Ma'am, paano po kayo nagsa-self-care? Sabi ni Sir Louie Ian Aquino, hirap ng tanong. <laughs> Bakit Sir, mahirap mag-isip <laughs> during the pandemic? Vacation daw, ayan. We have a very, very long vacation, ma'am Sir, no? Yeah, so we have work, work, work. <laughs> For the work, sir, ma'am. Stay in touch with family. And check lang natin if nandito na si Sir Loren, no? Sir Loren? Are you with us na po? Ayan, wala pa po ata. Sabi ni Ma'am Gemma, quiet time and prayer. Yes naman 
Mom Gemma. Mom si Sir Loren Mamrika. Nakabalik na. Yes po. Uh, Sir Loren, nandito ka na po ba, Sir? Sir, nakamute po kayo, Sir. Miss daw kayo ng mga participants, sir. Medyo matagal daw kayo yung nawala, sir. Hello, hello, I'm back. <laughs> yes, sir, sir Lauren. <laughs> Medyo nakat po kayo na, sir. And so we'll check lang po sa ating participants if you are still here. Uh, chat yes po sa ating chat box. Chat yes sa ating chat box. Ayan, so thank you po sa ating mga napaka-patient po na participants. Uh, we are sorry po for any inconvenience po. Ayan, yan po yung ating mga... Uh, issues po <laughs> ngayong new normal. Yeah, so thank you so much po. Thank you, Ma'am Amelia, Ma'am Lisa, Hanilin, Ma'am Febby, Ma'am Rachel, Ma'am Vanessa, Sir Christian, Ma'am Hanile. Ayan, so we are still here, Sir Lauren. I'm back, ma'am. Okay, yes, po. Okay, but I answer my question. Pa tayo tayo. Let me ask you lang po sa ni if I'm going to suffer. Where are the digamitin pang cake mapping? Ayun po yung ating. And sir, you can take off. Ask ko lang po sana ano pong software pang mapping. Kuhan po yun ma'am? Uh, tas na po ng programmer yun. That is their language on how to, to map our tags and metadata sets. Sila na po yung kwan dun. Hindi na po natin area yun. Uh, I just share it for the purpose of uh, everyone to understand what's going on sa ating mga databases. Meron pa bang nakaligtaan na tanong kanina, ma'am? Ma'am Rika? Hindi ko nasagot. Uh, Sir Lauren, yun na lang naman po. Okay. Shall we continue, ma'am? Yes, po, sir. Go ahead lang po. Okay. Uh, let me share my previous screen. Nag-change ako ng location eh. Okay, can you, nakikita niyo itong screen ko ngayon? Yes, sir. 
yung open journal system? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, ganito na lang para mas madali. <laughs> Kita naman siguro. Okay, so a while ago, uh, before na nag-break tayo, we are discussing yung mga journal system natin. Okay. And then I just, uh, gusto ko lang mag-overview tayo kung ano yung status ng journals natin dito sa Pilipinas. No? And then, ito yung nakita ko dun sa Web of Science kung ano yung mga kwan na na-index na sa Web of Science. Uh, I think mayroon siyang 15 yung latest na na-index ni Web of Science. We have the Journal of Environmental Science and Management, Mindanao Journal of Science and Technology, Palawan Scientist. Ito, matagal na ito kung serial librarian pa ako noon. Nakikita ko na ito. Uh, Philippine Agricultural Scientist. Yan, dati rin ito. Philippine Entomologist, Philippine Journal of Crop Science, Philippine Journal of Science, Philippine Journal of Systematic Biology, Philippine Journal of Wheat, Veterinary Medicine, yan, familiar din sa akin to. Philippine Science Newsletters, Philippine Scientists, Philippine Studies Historical and Ethnographic Viewpoints, Philosophia International, Journal of Philosophy, yung Plaridel, yun, uh, Web of Science din pala yung Plaridel. And then, pinakalas yung Science Diliman, in which ito lang yung nakita kong open access. So, ito yung, kuwan, no? ito yung mga journal sa Philippines na na-index na ni Web of Science. Of course, wala pa yung sa amin, malayo pa yung sa kalingkingan. Uh, ang wina-work out pa namin to together with the research is the directory of open access journals. Pero na ngayon, hindi pa kami yata pumapasa doon. So, basic din lang yung aming journal system. So, ito yun. So, science diliman. Sorry, hindi ko na na-edit pala. So, ito yung screenshot niya. Yung science diliman na open access. So, ito, ito, ito lang yung open access ngayon. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, hindi lang naman dito yung kuwan. Ito kasi yung mga kapag Web of Science Index kasi, ito yung kumbaga super quality na kasi ito eh. Yan. So, meron namang mga other journals na halimbawa yung nagland kay si Illogic, yung ajournals.ph. So, halos karamihan ng universities uh, andun sa kanya. Of course, uh, meron siyang commercial side. Okay. So, yun po yung one. status niya ngayon. Okay. Uh, Dito sa Philippines, uh, I'm not yet one. No? So, yung science diliman lang yung one. Uh, Nakatungtong lang dun sa sa quality ng open access at saka sa web of science. Meron kayong question regarding journals pa? Medyo sabog yung aking presentation, no? Before we will discuss yung ating issues on predatory journals. Okay, wala akong nakikita sa akin. wala ako nakikita ng question. So, let's proceed dun sa issues ng mga predatory journals. Uh, <coughs> Usong-uso na kasi ngayon yung mga pa-publish ng mga articles natin. And we agree na a lot of us uh, are tempted to publish in those journals. And then, Si, yung listahan kasi naman ni Jeffrey Bell, hindi na siya gaanong active ngayon. And then, accepted naman ni Commission on Higher Education yung list niya. Pero maraming mga questions, maraming clarifications. So, for me, I advise na lang na every institution has its own checklist 
or policy on what is predatory journals. Kaya dito, hindi pa klaro yung sa amin yung ano ba ang predatory journals. Ang sinasabi lang nila, based on the Jeffrey Bell list. Pero meron din siyang issue din kasi when it comes to the list. And then, so mas magandang tayo na lang yung mag-create ng policy when it comes kung ano ba yung predatory journals, ano yung predatory na congress. Yung iba kasi na kuan sa akin uh, masasabi kong predatory ang journals. Yung bago ngayon, ay yung nakita ko ngayon, uh, I just discovered this week. <coughs> uh, legit naman siya. Uh, mayroong ISSN. Uh, maganda yung pagkaka-upload niya sa, by articles. Makikita mo yung kung ilan yung nag-download. Pero yung nag-host sa kanya, uh, repository. yung kanyang nagamit. Actually, Bpress yata yung nagamit nila. And if you search dun sa kung, kung ano yung Bpress, it is a repository database. Although pwede naman gawin na access for the journals, gaya ng Greenstone, dun din kami nag upload ng journals namin. Pero hindi siya talaga designed for the journals. You just upload it there for the purpose of access. Hindi siya journal na ma absorb mo yung journal process in publishing. So, yun po yung one. Actually, uh, anyway, hindi ko naman ako nag-mention ng pangalan. Pero marami nang kwan eh, na-promote sa ganyan eh. Na parang journal na platform na ipresenta nila. Nakalusot sila as sa kanilang promotions. So, yun yung kwan. Isa dito. Ah, uh, I have to, hindi naman siguro sa pagmamagaling, pero kulang pa tayo dito sa Pilipinas on on how to determine <coughs> what are those predatory journals, including the kwan, highest uh, office na, highest authorities na mag-determine sana kung ano yung predatory. Uh, minsan, sa sobrang higpit na nila, Uh, nagko-concentrate na lang sila dun sa Web of Science and Scopus na uh, basis. Pero meron din open access na magaganda kasi na wala namang hindi binibigyan ng puntos dun sa merit system. So, meron mga un- I can say unfair na treatment when it comes to point system. Anyway, those are the issues na kailangan siguro ng academic discussion. Pero ang pinaka-importante dito, malaman natin yung classification ng platform na gagamitin. Ano yung tumpak na gagamitin for the purpose. Kung ang purpose mo is mag-archive, di gagawin mo yung, kwan, yung mga pang-repository na platform or databases. Kapag journal naman, di gamitin mo yung pang-journal na uh, software. Ganun lang yun. So, Anyway, uh, sikat na sa atin yung mga, uh, I know you can determine yung mga journals na yun na kuan, na kukunwaring journals, in which uh, talagang nakakalusot naman. And, uh, well, uh, time will tell na kuan, hindi na sila pwede. Siguro ba't sa ngayon, maraming nakakalusot. Uh, that is the reality. Okay? So, yun po yung issues, isang issues natin dun sa pagka-create ng journals natin. Baka maklasify tayo as predatory. Anyway, uh, ang kagandaan naman yan, ang importante is nakapublic kasi yung kwan mo. Nakapublic yung kung sino, yung, kung sino ka doon sa website. Para madali nilang mag-verify. At least alam nila yung sino yung mga editor, sino yung mga peer reviewer, Yan. Sino yung ibang other na gumagalaw dun sa website? At least ganun. Yung, yung iba kasi wala eh. Uh, hindi nakikita. Yung website lang, din contact lang. Tapos kapag i-click mo pa yung contact us, ang magkikita mo na lang yung form. Hindi naman yung tao. Yung form, yung mag-fill up ka ng form. So yun yung, yung nakaka... 
nakakahilo kung minsan hindi nila ma-determine. May tanong po? So, ano man po sa ating mga participants? Sensya na, dito na ako mag-i-edit ha. <laughs> Sige lang. Sa ating participants, if you have questions, at lang po, huwag po tayong mag-i-edit yan. Or if you have no questions naman po, chat, zero po. Chat, zero po sa ating chat box. Okay, we'll proceed uh, based on my outline lang to ha, kaya medyo magulo. Okay, what are the needed uh, things to put up online journal system and repository? Uh, ito yung, yung pinaka-importante na na-observe na ko eh. Although marami, marami, marami talagang kailangan. Pero ito yung pinaka-main. Bago ka mag-umpisa, mag-set up ng repository or journal, isipin mo muna kung meron ka ng server. Okay. It's either high-end na computer for your start. Pwede kang, kapag gusto mo mag-online na agad, at least meron kang tower na server or mid-range kung gusto mong mid-range. Pero sa amin, puro, bumalik na kami sa yung mga basic lang tower lang na, na server. Kasi nag kami sa midrace, medyo nabudol kami. Yeah. So, mas madali din ka kasi yung i-manage yun. Sa, kahit wala ka ng rack, yung tower na server. <coughs> Domain name, isa din yan na importanteng kailangan. Kasi hindi ka pwedeng makapag-online kung wala kang domain name. Pwede rin yung kwan, internal address, yung number lang na nakikita. Pero ang pangit naman kasi, no? Okay lang yung number kapag uh, sa within the campus lang, one area or local area. And then the other one na importante is yung platform. Ito yung kuha natin. Magko-commercial ka ba or mag-open source ka ba gaya ng OGS? So ano yung pipiliin mo? Yan. Pero sa akin kasi government tayo, wala tayong pera eh. So sa, ang pinirin namin, OGS talaga nag-open journal system kami. Then of course, yung concept and training natin. Ito yung karamihan na kuan, pinagkakagastusan ng agencies, training concept. Yan. Yung iba nga dito na nakita ko, umabot na sila ng 1 million na sa benchmarking and training pa lang sila. Wala pang na-implement. <coughs> Kaya nga kinakansyawan ko yung kwan, Project in Charge kasi kami dito sa BSU Library, it's just a product of Coffee Break. Nakipagkwentoan lang kami sa mga IT people and then na, after a year na, na ilagay namin sa aming procurement plan, nakabili na kami ng server. Go na. Uh, Nakapag-online na agad. Wala nang Rikitatos na other travel travel pa, pa training training pa. We kwan na lang. We learn along the way. So yun yung nangyari dito. So kumbaga puro suntok sa buwan yung nangyari. Based on our experience. But of course, I'm not saying that you will follow us. Uh, still follow the proper uh, movement from the government agencies na you will start with the concept, benchmarking, training, and then purchase and then implement. Yan. Kami kasi parang baliktad. No? We learn along the way. Anyway, at least nakakuha naman. Naka, nakaraos naman po. Nakaraos naman. Ayan. Another issues. Yan. Ayaw sa open source at may pera. Yan. Ngayon naman, kung may kayong agency na yayamanin, at may pera ka naman, uh, hindi kwan. 
hindi mo kailangan ang OGS. Mag-subscribe ka na lang kay ejournals.ph tapos na. <laughs> yeah. uh, ang ang karamihan na transaction sa kanya is they will get your journals and then there's there's a mua na kuan mangyari sa inyo. And then magiging commercial yung journals niyo. Then anyone uh, who will access then meron siyang monetary value. Ganun yung kuan. Although merong may part na open yata, nakikita ko meron ding part na articles na open. Depende yata dun sa uh, agreement. Kung merong nakasubscribe kay si Logic dito or nakamuha sa kanya, yung may share your experiences para malaman din natin. But for us, wala kami. Hindi kami kasi nakapartner with si Logic for the e-journals kasi meron na kaming sariling uh, journal system in which is that uh, yung open. Kaya hindi kami siya. Hindi kami partnered. But uh, we are planning to subscribe also the e-journals kasi nag na yung uh, IPL project natin together with the Commission on Higher Education. Kasi maganda rin naman yung mga kwan, other journals para maging compliant naman tayo sa accreditations. Okay. The issues on the, uh, digital object identifier, dito sa OGS, uh, in-explore pa nga namin kung paano yun, no? namin ma-integrate dito. No? But uh, that is our future. Uh, try to consider it also, yung DOI number ng articles natin. Uh, we are into that, but I just want to share it you, to you na kailangan din ito. Para maging, if in case na mag-apply tayo in the future for the Web of Science and the ECI na accreditation nila for, para ma-index tayo, at least kailangan natin yung knowledge natin when it comes to DOI. <coughs> Sorry. Sa mga in, uh, first time makadinig ng DOI, yung Digital Object Identifier, that is, kumbaga, yan yung accession number ng article natin on the web. Yan yung gamit ng DOI. Para kahit na kung saan ma-upload yung article, meron siyang unique identifier na sa'yo yun. And then one thing more pala, yung bagong APA citation ngayon, na-observe ko na hindi na siya, hindi na niya kinoconsider yung place of publication. Ang kinukuha na lang niya, DOI, yung bago, pinakaletes na APA rules. Kaya sabi ko, ah, uh, Medyo kwan na pala yun, no? Medyo ay, iba na yung way of setting ngayon. Talagang naka-depende na siya sa DOI. Kalimutan mo na yung kwan, place of publication and the publisher. Basta mayroong DOI, uh, okay na sa kanya. So, yun po yung uh, rule of the DOI. Anyway, kung, kung ang articles is for Kung DOI is for article titles, yung mga author naman na nagsasubmit, ang equivalent nun or katapat nun is yung ORCID number. Okay? Ako, nakalimutan ko na yung aking ORCID number. Hindi naman kasi ako author. But I created my own ORCID number. Try nyo ring mag-create. So, DOI is for the articles. ORCID number is for the author. Wala na bang mas magandang solusyon? Yan. Diyan sa digital repository at journal system, hindi namin kayang bumili ng server, hindi namin, wala kaming capabilities to set up. Yan. I think uh, Carl will discuss our e-libri, uh, one of our power uh, search na, na create ni Carl. Isishare niya sa inyo kung paano niya nagawa yung kanyang ilibri. Uh, parang kung din siya, parang digital library din. Mas, ma, I think mas madali siyang sundan kaysa dun sa... If, you, if your purpose is to share your uh, knowledge only or products within the institution, pwede rin yun. Okay? Although, very familiar sa inyo na yung kwan. 
yung system, yung kalibre. Anyway, uh, you can, kwan, pwede lang kayong magkape kung alam na ninyo yung system. Um, but for the others, they might uh, use it. Uh, kaya, ikwan lang natin, postro lang natin. That will be discussed by Carl uh, Simbayan later. Kasi ako, more on the concept lang ako. Yan. Tapos na pala tayo. Wala pa sa alas 12. Anyway, uh, to wrap up my presentation, pasensya na sa aking presentation. Uh, wag, wag po tayong kuhan malito, ano? Doon sa mga kuhan natin, sa stems na ginagamit natin. So, iba po ang repository system natin. Iba din yung integrated library system natin. Iba po yung journal system natin na open journal system. Iba din yung mga learning management natin. Iba yung mga content management Yan. So, isipalit natin, no? Uh, ang nakikita ko ka rin nangyayari sa iba, pinaghalo-halo na yan. Pwede, although, pwede rin, pwede sa pwede. Uh, everything is possible on the web, di ba? Pero, when it comes to future usage, accreditation, and proper uh, usage of uh, platforms, mas okay kung kuha na natin, ay eh, itama na natin doon sa kuha sa tamang kinalalagyan na system. Halimbawa na lang sa, sa ating integrated library system, uh, pwede naman yung kwa na, gawin natin habang integrated library system na siya, pwede na natin gawin repository kasi meron naman yung tag 8856 8, sa mark, di ba? So, dun mo, kami din na kami, nag-upload din kami ng abstract ng thesis namin, sometime full text din. Depende kung uh, nag-approve yung may ari or author na i-open access siya. So, open kami yung i-upload dun sa tag 856. Uh, that is the digital content sa mark, di ba? So, yun. So, maaring ganun na dual uh, library system na digital repository pa. But, based on our experience, sa tagal na naming kasi way back, uh, early 2000 pa kami nag-start from the uh, Win ICs to Sercat to Destiny yung gamit naming software uh, marami na ring napagdaanan along the way so gaya ngayon uh, we tried before na gawing uh, 2 in 1 na gawing library system at the same time uh, repository but nung tinamaan kami ng uh, virus and other hack uh, ransomware yun, so nahulog na rin yung mga content content ng nilagay namin dun sa tag 856 which is the digital content so sa ngayon, nagre-reconcent na naman kami kaya if you observe our OPAC talagang medyo buhol-buhol pa kasi hindi pa namin bagong kwan lang kami bagong upgrade kami ng uh, server kasi we are planning na at least maka-text and maka-email man lang yung aming system. Yung automatic email o automatic uh, text. Para kahit na kapag nag-overview, kahit na automatic na siyang nag-e-email uh, nag and nag-text. Yun yung gusto namin ma-upgrade sa aming system. And then, uh, during that time, ang experience namin yun nga. Natamaan din kami ng ransomware. Yung content, mga digital content, Hindi automatic pala na kwan, no? Hindi automatic na binabalik nung kwan. Kahit na meron kang technical support, hirap din sila. Kailangan din kamayin or mano-mano. So, sa dami ng ima mano-mano mo, talagang matagal talaga yun. Uh, hindi pala automatic. So, yan yung isang kwan. Uh, future to improve in the library system pala. Yung digital content. Uh, kapag nag-export ka, hindi automatic na nakalink na yung digital content doon. Magmano-mano ka pa rin na ibalik doon sa kanyang uh, tag niya. So, yun yung experience namin. Hindi ko lang alam doon sa mga Koha uh, users kung uh, automatic na sumasama yung digital content sa kanilang bibliographic entry. So, yun po yung isang kuha natin. 
experience natin when it comes to these uh, different databases for the library. Again, uh, ang repository po ay hindi po integrated library system. Iba po yun. Okay? Iba po yun. Marami na akong naririnig na librarian na nung tinanong namin, ano ang ginagamit yung library system? May, mayroong magsasabi, uh, Greenstone, mayroong magsasabi, DSpace. Hindi po yun uh, integrated library system. That is, a, that is a repository system or database. Hindi rin po library system ang UGS, that is a journal system. Okay? So, yan, huwag po natin pagpapalit-palitin yung coin classification natin. Okay. May tanong po? Parang yan, yan na po yung kwan eh. Pinakahuli kong kwan eh. Na slides. Uh, of course, I want to show to you the our website also. Para kwan. At least may oras pa naman. May tanong po ba? Po na may gustong itanong, pwede na po kayong magtanong. Yan habang may ano pa tayo, 30 minutes. Can you see my screen, sir? Yes, sir. Opo. Okay. So, ito bali yung kwan. Open journal system namin dito sa Benguet State University. Uh, sa ngayon, uh, ang nakikita ko eh, parang hindi ko lang alam, uh, please correct me if uh, I'm wrong. Ang naka-OJS pa lang sa buong Pilipinas ay kami at saka Southern Leyte State University. Yun yung na-verify ko lang. Uh, please, uh, feedback kung meron pa kayong nakikita na gumagamit ng uh, OGS, Open Journal System. At sa ngayon, ito lang, uh, ang alam ko kami lang na dalawa. So, ito po ali yung uh, pinaka-main page ng uh, journal of course, uh, uh, IT persons can change the, the uh, design of this uh, page. Pero default na yung mga kwan, itong mga readers, authors, librarians, no? Na tab niya dito. So, ganito po ang mangyayari. Uh, mayroong mga current issue na, ang pinakalates namin is volume 81. Yan. And then, ganun din, mayroong mga article title, volume number, the authors. And then, if you will click this, mayroong full text. Of course, uh, hindi natin i-install ito. Ang gagawin lang natin is magde-demo si Carl kung paano yung kanyang process. Okay? So, yun yung mangyari. Okay lang ba? Okay. So, marami akong kuhan, cashier, dito sa, cashier dito sa room. So, kapag i-click ko yung kuhan, about, yun, andito yung mga kuhan, no? About the journal. Yan. Mga editorial board, at least kitang-kita din kung sino yung mga uh, editorial board. Yan. Yan. So, at least kami yung OJS team. Yan, andito ako. At least meron akong pangalan, at least ko naman, no? Uh, qualified na akong mag-lecture, ano? At least kahit pa paano, kahit hindi ko pa alam. At least kasali ako dun sa team. Yan. When it comes to technical, hindi ka uh, ako gamay pa dito. Okay. Okay. So, ganoon yung kwan. Uh, anyway, we, Carl will uh, uh, present the full features of this uh, 
journal system. Uh, I think tomorrow. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Professor. Okay. Meron kayo pa kayong question, ma'am? Question po. It's Mr. Lorenz. Hello, sir. Sir Lorenz. Yes, sir. Ah, sir, ano, pinapakita nyo ba yung website nyo, sir? Kasi kung pinapakita nyo sa sir, ang naka-visible pa dito sa share screen nyo is yung PowerPoint. Visible na po, sir. Uh, Nakamute po ata kayo, sir. Ayan. Okay na, sir. Okay, okay. So ito yung bali yung ano no? pinaka main page ng journal. Uh, I hope nakikita na. Okay. Ito yung sample niya ng journals natin. This view is based on okay. external assessment and usually mirrors. So ito yung pinaka main page. And then makikita mo na yung pinaka latest na upload dito including the article titles. If I'm going to click on this, uh, merong provision for the full text. Yan. So, PDF form na ito. So, ganun po yung features ng uh, journal system, features ng OGS. Uh, in a way, that will be discussed by Carl later. So, yan po yung kuha natin. I think doon na ako mag answer uh, mga kaibigan, <laughs> except kung meron pa kayong tanong. And so, ano po? Kung may mga tanong po tayo, participants, you can ask Sir Loren po. Uh, Ma'am Rika, may announcement ka po ba? Further announcement? Or gusto pong i-share? Uh, uh, sir JB, wala naman na po. Hmm. Okay, Sir Lauren po, okay na po yung discussion niya. I think, uh, dyan na ako mag-i-end, Ma'am. Uh, this afternoon, na uh, mag install po tayo ng uh, Greenstone Data Library. Ito yung next na activity natin. Okay po. Sir Lawrence, maybe an instance of our afternoon session. Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Come again ma'am. <laughs> okay. Yes Installer po sir. May kailangan po yung app po to be used in our session. Uh, kapag, kapag mayroong mga gustong sumunod dun sa kwan, sa installation, uh, just kwan siguro. Uh, prepare another laptop for or workstation para dun sa kwan, installation and encoding natin. But if they want to just view us, okay lang naman. Okay po, sir. Uh, kasi, sir, Lauren, if we have ano, applications na kailangan i-install, we can just give them the link where to download para po uh, ma-ready natin for the afternoon session. Uh, may link ka po ba, sir? Okay, uh, kung sino yung mga gusto pa lang kuan, mag-advance na. Kasi pwede namang, kasi madali lang naman yun. 
uh, you can so, just uh, use the power of Google and then type lang natin yung Greenstone Data Library. Anyway, regardless of the perspective, uh, the, con uh, the concept uh, remains a multiplier. And then mapupunta tayo dun sa pinaka main website ng Greenstone. Pwede na tayong mag-download doon. Uh, yun, po na yun muna siguro mo ang kuwan natin. Pinaka first na activity natin. Yan, so click lang natin yung download then you can immediately download uh, I advise na we will use the 2.87 version para mas madali kasi yung 3.0 medyo mabigat sa hardware yung 3. version 3.0 ito uh, version 2.87 yung kwan i-download po natin kasi 95 MB lang. Kapag dito kasi sa 3.0, 430 MB. So medyo mahirapan po yung kwan natin, unit natin. So dito lang tayo sa kan, version 2.87. So yun lang po ma'am yung kwan uh, gawin natin siguro ngayon. Kung gusto nilang kwan mag-download, i-download agad. Ayan, so uh, sa ating participants, we can download po yung ating application uh, through the greenstone.org, uh, which is posted po sa ating link. And then we can download daw po yung ating uh, 2.87 version po ng application, which is yung 95.2 MB. Tama po, Sir Loren, no? Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Yan po yung kwan. At least pinakamadali. Yes po. So medyo lighter daw po yung ating 2.87 na version. So you can just download that and later um, in the afternoon session po, uh, pwede po tayong sumabay ayan, uh, sa ating RP po regarding po sa installation po ng ating application. Yeah. So, do we have uh, further discussion, Sir Loren, or uh, that's all po ba for our morning session? Uh, I think just lang mo na, ma'am. <laughs> Kanta okay. medyo ka na. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, sa ating participants, let uh, let us check naman po. Do you have further questions po? Objections? Yeah. Comments? Kung wala naman na po. Uh, chat po none sa ating chat box. Ayan. So chat none sa ating chat box if wala na po tayong katanungan. And we can have our early morning break po. A lunch break po, I mean. Ayan, none naman na daw po. Okay, merong question si Sir Paul. Ask ko lang po kung meron din pong demonstration on this space installation. Uh, Sir Loren? Uh, lahat mo merong demonstration. Uh, yung Greenstone lang yung merong download and install. Pero yung Greenstone at saka OGS, demonstration lang. Kasi doon sa OGS at uh, this space medyo technical yung kanyang installation. So demonstration lang yung uh, dalawa. Yung Greenstone, install and demonstration. Okay po. And so we hope na answer po, nasagot po ni Sir Lawrence Sir Paul yung inyong questions. Uh, so far, wala naman na po tayong questions. And so uh, thank you so much po sa pakikinig and we thank Sir Lauren for uh, discussing that. And in the afternoon session po, uh, we'll resume later at 1 p.m. So make sure po na nakabalik na po tayo uh, at 1 p.m. and we'll be starting exactly at 1. Okay, Sir Lawrence, si Sir Carl ba later in the afternoon yung uh, magdi-discuss uh, discuss ng technical side po?
Apo, yes ma'am. Uh, siya po yung magtutuloy. Okay. And so, thank you, participants. Um, ha have a happy lunch po. Ayan. And we'll continue at 1 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Lauren. Happy lunch po. Thank you po.